Hi and welcome back to photographycourse.net here at YouTube. If you haven't yet subscribed to our channel please do so and click that bell icon so you stay up to date when we release new videos. In every camera lens there is an aperture that works very much like the iris in our eye. It expands to let more light in and contracts so less light can enter. In manual mode you need to be in control of this aperture setting and you need to be aware of what f-stop you're using. The f-stops are a series of numbers that are fractions of the size of the opening in the lens. Every camera lens has two measurements on it. It has the focal length which is measured in millimetres so you might have a 50 millimeter or you might have a zoom that is something like a 24 to 70 millimeter and these lenses will also have another measurement and this is the widest f-stop number so your 50 millimeter lens might be an f1.8 or an f1.4 your kit zoom something like an 18 to 55 will have two numbers that might be something like f3.5 to f5.6 this is because the ratio of the size of the aperture changes as you zoom. Some zoom lenses only have one f-stop number, so you might have a 24 to 70 f2.8. As far as exposure goes, the main thing you need to be aware of is that the lower the f-stop number, the more light will enter the lens. A higher number means less light enters the lens. The aperture settings on most lenses can now be controlled in one third of a stop increments. Say for example in between f5.6 and f8 is one stop, but you'll have two other settings in between so you can control the apertures in one third increments. In a full stop, say between 5.6 and 8, 8 and 11, 11 and 16, each of those steps either halves or doubles the amount of light coming into the lens. So if you're at f5.6 and you change your setting to f8, that halves the amount of light entering the lens. If you're at f8 and change it back to f5.6, that doubles the amount of light coming into the lens. These numbers have always been a little bit confusing, a little bit difficult to remember because they are fractions of the size of the opening in the lens and this varies depending on the focal length of the lens. If you can try and remember the set of numbers that are full one stop increments. So from a base level of maybe f2.8 you've got 2.8, 4, 5.6, 8, 11, 16, 22 and then maybe higher than that depending on the lens. Don't worry at all if you can't remember these numbers, they will come to you in time as you practice using them. One of the biggest things about learning manual mode is sticking with it and really practicing. Often I tell people it's a little bit like learning to drive a manual shift car. At the start you're going to be graunching the gears and bunny hopping and stalling and you have to think every step of the process what you're doing. But eventually You'll be able to be driving and enjoying the scenery and having a conversation with your friends and it won't bother you at all, you'll hardly be thinking about it. You can learn to use manual mode and set your aperture, shutter speed and ISO on your camera just as easily. It takes some time, it takes some commitment, but it's well worth doing. To read more about this, check out the articles on photographycourse.net and we'll see you in the next video.